hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is bokis how you doing today's class will be on how to draft a basic sleeve which is very very easy to do so first you need to determine the length of your sleeve and i want my sleeve to be nine inches between eight to nine is just fine so i'm going to draw a line which is going to be the starting point another thing you need to determine is your calf's height how do you calculate your calf's height that's very easy it is just your bust measurement divided by 12 plus half an inch my bust measurement is 42 when i divide that by 12 that will give me three and a half plus half an inch that's going to be four inches that will be the first measurement for then the length of the sleeve which is nine So good. This is the baseline, the cap's height, and then the length of the sleeve. The next thing I'm going to do here is to take the basic bodies pattern we drew initially. So just take the measurement from the beginning to the chest line. I'm going to take the measurement there. So for me, from the slope to the chest line, that's seven and a half inches. And remember when we're drafting the basic bodies i told you if you had any ease to your bust measurement you had there to this you need to add it back to the sleeve pattern so i added half an inch ease to that so half an inch plus seven and a half that will give me eight inches and then for his around the crown i will just advise you to add extra quarter inch to that measurement to make it eight and quarter okay. take your ruler and connect from the crown to that point get the midpoint that is half of the distance so that's the midpoint go up by half an inch good with your ruler connect from the half an inch to this point in your hammer curve so that is the back hand pull for the front hand pull you're going to connect from this crown to the initial midpoint Then turn your hammer curve this way and connect from that part to the edge. Just light curve, not so much. Good. So this is the back hand pole and this is the front hand pole. Just as we did on the basic bodies, you can see it is different. One is deeper than the other. Now here you have to insert your sleeve opening. Your sleeve opening depends on the measurements you take around where you want your sleeve to stop so for me it is 14 inches when i divide that by two i'm going to have seven inches then with my pant curve i'm just going to connect from here downward but if you don't have that you can use a straight ruler but i just use that to get rid of some excesses here so this is how to draft your sleeve pattern. If you want to add your seam allowance all at once, you can do that. For instance, for the sleeve, you can just add one inch to one and a half. That depends on your preference. So this is one and a half or just one and a quarter. And for the side, I'm just gonna add one inch. So 
all the same allowance you might be wondering i didn't connect it so i'm going to show you what i'll do so just blend this up i usually don't have some allowance to this side but you can have if you want that because i just take about one centimeter for the seam allowance that it comes out perfect so to cut this now So you can see I'm cutting the back ham hole first. So this is what I'm going to have. So that when you are sewing it in, everything matches all this way. Can you see that? So that's the essence of that. Then from the front ham hole, we are going to trim that off only for one part. Now the sleeve pattern is ready this is how to draft your sleeve pattern if my tutorial on how to make this has been helpful please give me a giant thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for the sewing tools contact us through the contact number in the description box below thank you